This is the inner sphere. Thousands of planets colonized by humankind. Once it was united under the Star League. But for the last 300 years, it has been consumed by savage wars. Until a new enemy appeared. Mysterious invaders known as the Clans. Powerful and ruthless, they struck like lightning, attacking every sector at once. But they made one big mistake. They attacked my home planet. Now in the spirit of the Star League, ancient enemies have reunited. And we're going to take back our galaxy. are under attack by clan forces. Enemy dropship approaching. Do not allow it to dock. Repeat, do not allow it to dock. We have no intention of docking. The trap is ready for my nemesis, Adam Steiner. I assure you, Galaxy Commander, I refuse to take part in Star Colonel Nikolai Malthus' unclan-like renegade action. Then set a course to intercept them now. Captain Germer, prepare the ship for hyperspace jump. Set course for the Apollo star system. Star Colonel Nikolai Malthus, I order you to cease this unauthorized activity. This mission was not authorized? I made a vow to destroy Adam Steiner and his strikers. I will do so with or without your approval. You and your unit will return to this warship immediately, or I will have no choice but to destroy you. Age has clouded your judgment, old man. Do what you will. Very well. Fire! Not over, Nikolai. You cannot defy the will of the clan. Kristen, fight off! You will lead a strike force and bring him back to me in any condition. I received a message from the planet Apollo from Commander Andrew Steiner. My brother? What's he doing on Apollo? He's gathering a resistance movement. He requested reinforcements from the AFFC, but they don't have the troops to spare. The Strikers are an independent unit. We could go in and assist them. These are the coordinates. It's an abandoned astronomical survey station on Apollo's northern continent. Good luck to you, Major. Why do you think he will respond to such a message? Major Steiner would risk anything to help his brother. This devotion to family and friends, it is not natural. Personal loyalties cloud one's better judgment. A warrior must always act for the glory of the entire clan. Is that why you defy Galaxy Commander Cheese to and go off on your own? Major Steiner's continued existence is an affront to us all. Since our Galaxy Commander fails to understand the need for his elimination, I am forced to act on my own authority. All right, here are the facts, people. The northern continent is sufficiently remote from the planet's population center, so we're less likely to encounter any clan garrison troops there. Additionally, Apollo has a thick cloud cover. A good electrical storm could cover our landing from their scanners. It's almost too good to be true. That is what concerns me. Now, I'm not going to paint a rosy picture for you. We have no hard evidence that Andrew's unit is anywhere near Apollo. But if there's even a remote possibility he's down there, I have to check it out. However... I can't ask any of you to risk your lives on a mission that at best is a long shot and at worst is a trap. You don't have to ask, Major. We've come too far to back out on you now. I got your axe, man. Rigged up for orbital drop. You got room for one more? 
I mean, this is a perfect opportunity to test out the new tactical operations center. We're going into a mountainous terrain. Now, there's no place to land a dropship, which means we have to orbital drop. Do you really want to get booted into the atmosphere inside that contraption? I can do it. Lots of luck, sweetie. Where are you going to find someone fool enough to drive that thing with you? <laughs> now remember, we'll be unable to communicate until we reach Apollo's atmosphere and our shielding blast open. So if anybody's claustrophobic, now would be the time to speak up. Don't worry, Keith. We'll keep an eye on you. Yeah, well, I have to confess, I haven't done a hot drop since basic training. You think that's bad? I haven't done one since before you were born. They cannot hear us. Quickly, we must lead them away from the others. How simple it would be to destroy them. Simple, but dishonorable. Adam Steiner deserved no better. Something tells me that's not thunder. Not get far. Adam, do you copy? What's going on? We've been ambushed. I'm reading five clan necks, all heading straight for you. Val, cover Rachel and Patch. Hawk and I will try to hold them off. Computer, initiate enhanced imaging. Day worse, Adam, but I'm reading five more clan mechs coming your way. Then you should do your quiet neighborhood. Oh, Colonel Nikolai Nazareth, you have painted your clan with dishonor. You will cease this renegade attack at once. She has no authority over us. Resume fire. Do not resist us, Dark Colonel. Our orders come directly from the galaxy commander. If you do not cooperate, we will be forced to. Stand up, my God. If you will not stand with me, Kristen, then you will fall before me. Why in the world are they shooting at each other? You want me to go over and ask? Any sign of our Banshee Squadron? Sorry, Chief. We've been a little busy. We have successfully disabled the Clan Arrow Fighters. Good. I need you to scout ahead to the nearest landing spot for the Kwai Don. This combat will only result in further waste of valuable Clan resources. Meanwhile, Adam Steiner and his strikers fly within our grasp. Let us join forces and destroy them together. And why should I aid you in this unauthorized campaign, Nikolai? Once we succeed, my unit and I will return with you of our own volition. You will then be doubly honored. Very well. I agree to your proposal. Well bargained and done. The strikers appear to be scattering. Then I suggest we split up and hunt them down. It's working! The clan radar is reading our position is miles away from here! Yeah, but how long before they wise up? Hopefully long enough for me to jury-rig this rust bucket back together. Adam, is there any sign of Andrew's unit? Negative, Rachel. No indication they were ever here. This whole thing. It was nothing but a setup from the start. 
But how would they know to use my brother's name? Zero. Ah, I spent months trying to teach him that information is ammunition, and he takes that advice now? Adam, I'm picking up a stray clan neck. It's heading straight for you. defeated me honorably. I am ready to serve as your bondsman. All right, Pytor. You can start by helping us gut your mech. Here, knock yourself out. <laughs> it's just an expression. Now get to work. Are you sure we can trust him? Yeah, I won't make the same mistake we made with Chris. My clan laws, he has to serve us honorably. I've seen you before. You worked for Malthus. Next, Star Colonel Nikolai Malthus is a renegade. He defied orders and commandeered a FedCom jump ship. The Excelsior. Ah, Star Captain Kristen Redman and I were then ordered to apprehend him. And that's why you were shooting at each other. Correct. But the Star Captain and Malthus agreed to a truce, combining their forces to capture you. Rachel, I've got an idea. Can you rig it up so that my axeman reads as pie towards Hunchback on the clan radar? Yeah, I think so. Why? Well, if we can stir up enough trouble out there, we may be able to get them to start shooting at each other again. And that would buy us some time to get back to the Kwai Don. Hunchback. Pytor, we agreed to a truce, and now you fire on your own ally. Follow the bait. Stop flying in heat sink. Your next target is right behind you. Coordinate four five nine one two seven. Why do you fire on us? Must I now defeat you in combat? Reeling in fish number two. Now to watch the feeding frenzy. We agreed to a truce, Nikolai. Why did you resume hostilities? It was your unit fired on us. I did no such thing. Pytor fired upon us. Interesting. Pytor now heads toward the survey station. I suggest we pursue him together. Hot, how's your mauler's arm? Hey, it won't be playing the violin, <laughs> but I'm sure it'll still pound clanners into the ground. That's good to hear, because I think they're onto us. Right 
right once his buddies dig him out. I should have known Adam Steiner would be behind this deception. Bell, Hawk, fire everything you've got into the hillside. Everything? You're sure that's the smartest strategy, Major? No, but it's the fastest. We get a long march to the dropship. The strikers are getting away. Need I remind you, Zero, that our opponents have depleted their ammunition. Natalia and her elementals will finish them off. What do you know, guys? All right. Come on, people. Incoming! What now, Major? We just emptied all our ammo into that hillside back there. Perhaps I might provide some. That is, if you feel that you require it. Franklin, piloting a mech? Hey, not only that, he's a pretty good shot. You care to tell us why he kept his talent a secret, Mr. Sakamoto? Up until now, there has been no battle mech for me to pilot. I should know better than to expect a straight answer from you. I led you into this trap, and now I'm gonna get you out. Malthus, Kristen, Zero, I challenge you all to a trial. It's me you want, not my unit. Let them go, and we can fight it out alone. Three against one would not be an honorable conquest. Oh, come on, you all want me. Now who's got the guts to come for the prize? This is obviously another trick to get us fighting amongst ourselves again. Then let us oblige you. Very well, Major Adam Steiner. The three of us shall destroy you together. What do you think he's doing? What's it look like? He's buying us a ticket out of here. Well, we can't just abandon him. The Major knows what he's doing. Let's make sure his sacrifice counts for something. Well, maybe so. But despite all that, we now know the clans are not unbeatable. The Strikers have finally pulled together as a team. I think we're ready to take back Somerset. Are you satisfied, Nikolai? This is not over. Not as long as Adam Steiner still heads toward his own world. I will end this conquest where it began. On Somerset.